Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. I. So this lesson is going to be about this uh, video I saw. Um, it's called Growth and Development, Original Gangsters. And out here in Chicago, one of the most notorious uh, gangs, street gangs, is uh, the Gangster Disciples, um, which was started by Larry Hoover. And uh, Larry Hoover is uh, locked away in a maximum security prison for... Um, you know, saying all matters of wicked, uh, wickedness. You know, he was a drug dealer. You know, what I mean, he sent uh, hits out on people, et cetera, et cetera. So he's locked up, and he's gonna be locked up forever. And uh, you know, but there is a branch off of the gang called Growth and Development, um, which is basically uh, when you uh, when you grow mentally from. Uh, from being a street, um, a street banger, into being more into politics and into more into the community to help the community, to make the community a better place to to enlighten your people on a higher frequency. That's basically what growth and development is is about. It's no longer GD gangster disciple. Now it's about you know saying uh, your growth as a man or as a woman. And developing into something greater than just a, a gangbanger. Um, and that's kind of like what, uh, you know, some of the people here in, in Chicago and wherever else, you know, ex-gang members of uh, the Gangster Disciples, they branch off into that, you know, saying to try to, you know, saying make themselves um, a better citizens in uh, the community. But um, uh, they're basically... Uh, a lost cause because uh, no matter what you do, no matter how many turkeys you give out on, at thanks, Thanksgiving, um, you know, what I mean, no matter how your posture or your education level has risen, or whatever, it, it's not going to bring you closer to Yahweh and it's not going to get you delivered by Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is coming for the elect. The ones that have been faithful and true and righteous and have followed the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. All right. See, our people, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. They have a zeal for something, man. And it always has something to do with the Lord. You know, our people are connected to the Lord. You know, even though it be different religions, but they always have a God that they pray to, whether it be. The, the the you know they they believe in Allah which Allah just means God you know and but they follow the customs of the Muslims and the Quran you know and then they'll follow the Bible but they don't follow the Bible correctly they follow uh Catholicism you know what I mean these different doctrines um Jehovah Witness you know what I mean the, the Catholic Church you know even the Baptist Church and etc cetera, etc cetera. five day of Venice you know all these different doctrines man but it's not it's not according to to knowledge but they have a zeal cuz they have a connection to the lord you know but it just it just doesn't work because truthfully our people are are, are scatterbrained you know what i mean they're um they're sadish children you know they as the bible says which means to be uh stupid you know you know, what I mean, they are stiff neck, hard headed people. They are they backslide all the time. And it tells you that all through the Bible. So our people, they want knowledge. But then when they get the truth, they don't accept it. You know, because the Lord just, you know, ultimately. Um, has not opened their mind up to it. But in this clip that I'm about to show in this video. You about to see Tukey Williams' son, and Tukey Williams 
was one of the leaders of the Notorious Crips in uh, uh, California. He's one. Of, he was one of the, you know, the major leaders of that. And his son was dropping some gems in this video. And uh, you can listen to him. I believe this man knows he's an Israelite. You know, he he was saying he was calling the brothers that were surrounding surrounding him. He was calling them Ak. You know, what I mean, he was he was talking about our identity is missing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, he 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 been listening to somebody. And this video is years ago. This is, <laughs> you know, this is years ago. I, it was published in two thousand nine, but I think it was before that. You know. But uh, I'm going to play this clip and then get some scriptures, man. Because I, I, when I saw this, I said, damn, he, he know a little something. But it just goes to show that in this video, you know, when, if you watch the video for yourself, you see a bunch of, um, you see a bunch of Jakes, man. They, they coming out. They have a zeal to do something better. But it's just not according to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord. You know, the Lord wants you to follow his ways and come back to him. Praise him and give him his glory. Call upon his name. But you know, two thirds, as the Bible say, of our people shall be cut off and die. And our people are, are as the sand of the sea. It's a lot of Israelites on this planet. And they're going to be put to death. And only 144,000 of the elect, when you read uh, Revelations, the seventh chapter, they're going to be saved. And then the Lord's going to have mercy on the one third. You know? So a lot of people going to be put to death, man. Why? Because Jake refuses to, 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 to follow the Lord, man. Things I said I, yesterday, I said identity and morale. Morale yeah. means confidence, mm -hmm. cheerfulness, and discipline. Mm -hmm. And identity, man, you got, man, we ain't got no identity. We don't even know who we supposed to act like. Mm -hmm. How you going to tell, gonna tell it? Well, that's you. That's you one out the front. How you going to tell it? If an orange don't know he an orange, he ain't going to taste sweet. Mm -hmm. He's going to be sour. If a right. kangaroo don't know he's supposed to hop, he's going to be called no, like a snake. So what you got? You got a bunch of cats over here that don't, who are we? Yeah. They say we Africa, but Africa is a country made up of, a continent made up of 53 continents. Am I a Libyan? Am I Nigerian? Am I from Sub-Sahara? Man, it's bullshit. Man, it's who like are we? The, they tell us we black. What's our identity? When you go to the zoo and you see a lion laying down, chilling out, and you know what I'm saying? There ain't no motherfucking way a lion acts, man. You that's a motherfucking about lion in captivity, man. That don't, you know that, that's losing. And that's what most of us are. Man, All of us are. Yeah, it's simple. So it's identity. That's what you say. That's what you got to put in, man. You got to start sending them, look, man, let me tell you about such and such and such. Let me tell you about a dude named Mosley or Samson. Man, these was real cats. Hey, man, they got pictures of these dudes, man. These dudes, you go to them catacombs and stuff. They got pictures of cats, Jakes with braids, Come on, man. beards. That's right. Go. That's right. Strong that's right. dude that that's was right. ruling people, man. They don't want us to see it. That's, that's what right. That's what you got to teach them. That's you got to tell these dudes, man. You know, man, Moses and them were soldiers, man. Christ was a soldier. Christ that's said, right. you know what Christ said, man? Christ is real, man. That was a real black dude going around doing shit. Man, Christ Christ had a cat rolling with him that chopped him over the kid off. You know what he said? He said, man, if you ain't got no sword, sell your garment and buy a sword. Man, you get, what's a sword today? It's a gun, man. You got to have protection because look what we up again. That's why I told you, I ain't never told nobody to put no gun down. I just say, man, look, just keep your gun and just ready for that. Man, right. come on, man. You don't just get your gun up. I'm saying just stop pointing the gun at us. That's common sense. I got a gun right now. I got you know, as you can see, you know, he, he know a little something, man. You know, he said, but what about our identity, man? We don't know who we are. You know what I'm saying? The continent of Africa is a bunch of countries, man. Which one are you? Niggas be like African American. Which one are you, nigga? You Egyptian? Niggas love that Egyptian history, man. Out of all the continents, <laughs> I heard uh, Jeremiah, the brother Jeremiah, say, you know, there's so many continents in, in Africa, but all niggas want to be Egyptian. <laughs> it's true, man. You know what I'm saying? Which one are you, man? Are you from the Congo? Are you from Nigeria? What was it? Are you from Southern Africa? What is it, man? Which one is it? Our people have lost their identity, man, and they don't know who they are. All right? You know, like the brother said, man, you know, saying, you know, a lion doesn't act like that in, in captivity, man. That's a lion in captivity, man. Just laying around doing nothing. Hey, man, lions are hunters. They, they roam free. You know what I'm saying? They do what they're supposed to do. But a lion in captivity don't act like a lion that's free. Because we are in captivity, man. We are yet this day in our captivity. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says, and, and though even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, 
and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. All right. And that forever is a long, meaning a long period of time. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? We are going to discontinue from our heritage that the Lord has given us, man. But the Lord is going to put us into remembrance, man. By who? The prophets. All right. That's why you get our people right now that are waking up onto who, who they are. And it's scaring the elite because they know that once our people are coming closer to the Lord, that means that their um that their power is being diminished and it's lowering. Alright? That's why the Bible says the triumphing of the wicked is for for a short time. Now they didn't have us in captivity for hundreds of years, but one day unto the Lord is a thousand years. So it's really not that long. Alright? But their their triumphing is coming to an end, man. Alright? Those crowns are gonna be put on our heads, man. All right, and they see that. That's why they're afraid. All right, this is Jude one and five. It says, "I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them which believe not." So the Lord is going to put us into remembrance, man, by the prophets. All right, and that's why we're out there on the highways and byways, man. That's why we're making the videos and putting our people into remembrance. All right, because once the elect is sealed, once the elect have heard it, then the Lord is, is going to really ramp up these prophecies and he's going to come back and save us, man. He's going to come back like a thief in the night, which is basically these prophet, these prophecies. All right. The Lord is coming back. He, he, has, he will not forsake Israel. He will never forsake Israel, man. All right. You know, we are Israelites, man. We are not black. You know what I'm saying? We are not African American. We are not Native American. We're not Puerto Ricans, Mexicans. We are Israelites. All right. Those are bywords. All right. So, with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom.